Hello, hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with some more Chicalia Lost. Today's video, we're actually going to be playing the Fire Emblem event with a Fire Emblem team. I haven't started playing it yet, um, mainly because it was actually very nice. The um, This is going to be the Alperian, I think it's called. Something like that? Either way, I'm going to be playing I haven't had any time to play the event at all. Um, so we're going to go in and do it this way, man. So... I know they've been the changes, at least from what the people say in Trash Alliance, a vast majority. Well, some of the older people who have been around a good amount don't like the changes. They feel it's slower than some other people are like, I like it, so tell me how you feel about it. I don't think I'm actually doing the right thing, though, so I'm just going to be playing the event, apparently. Hmm. <laughs> well, since this is just easy, I'll put it on the fastest setting possible. Oh, I should talk about uh, some more things that are coming. Oh, by the way, if you end up liking this video, please leave a like and subscribe to me if you want more stuff about Trigalia or videos in general. Anyway, so 29th looks like it's going to be the actual date for what is, I guess, what we've been calling Part 2 of Fire Emblem. Um, that's when Sharina is going to come in. And then they've confirmed uh, three characters. But then some of the wording on the specific Twitter phrase is like showcases so people or well, at least some people one person mayo thought that like well if they say showcases that's actually a kind of a good chance of it actually being um uh i just realized don't i need to run fire emblem let me check it means a good chance that we might have another devil banner situation let me check here Doi. Okay, so let me quickly. Actually, gonna give them all to Alphonse here at the back end. That one, and that one. I forgot that I had I had next to no Fire Emblem CEs when this started. I keep calling them CEs because of Fate Grand Order's craft essences. <laughs> Worm Prince and CEs are basically the same thing to me. They serve a similar purpose. Um. Anyway, so I don't know. Double showcase. That seems 100% likely with, um, I feel, because that's how Monster Hunter went, and I feel like just in general, Jigalia has been, like, for big banner stuff, or big event stuff, they definitely have been leaning more towards doing more than one banner. Like, for example, the, um, uh, Scars of the Syndicate event, it had two, um, it had two summon banners, which is super weird. I, that was the first... It was so weird to see him do, like, two first Scars of the Syndicate, which to, I don't think it... I want to say since summer, we had not actually had, like, a non-crossover event have a part two. It's very... It used to be very unlikely for us to ever get a part two of anything. At least it felt like to me. Um, so I don't know. Maybe this seems like to be a changing of how they're going to be handling stuff from this point on. Hmm... I mean, they definitely give you a plenty of stam uh, stamina. They give you plenty of, like, actual um, worm to go out and do stuff. Especially if you just choose not to summon at all. I think the main problem is, is that if you want it all, which I'm going to just say right now, if you want every unit in the game, you could probably get them all if you're super lucky and you you could be 100% free to play. But the thing is, is that it just takes... You don't end up using a whole bunch of them. Like, just so many of them end up being, like, unused or something. I think it's better to have, like, a pretty solid foundation for a team. And then when you feel ready, like, it, like if there's a character you really badly want and want to play with, then it's good to kind of go forward. But if you're just chasing every new unit, I think that's not how the game is supposed to be. Or at least it feels like that's a pretty good way to get burned out and bur bummed out at every banner. I don't know. It's a weird thing to think about. Hello? I owe this victory to my friends. Well, yes, you do. Clear. Hmm. It's very hard to think about. But yeah, I'll be looking forward to the next part of this event. I'm not playing it super hard, just specifically because, first of all, this event is long. This is maybe the longest event period we've ever had for an event. At least from what I can remember. It feels unnaturally long to me. Alright, let's see. Alright, let's go in here. Sure, I don't care. I can deal with being in fixed state. I'm surprised they don't do that more with the fixed states, fixed state stuff. In Asker's name. Okay. 
I mean, that's not going to change the fact that it is four on one. Uh, I'll turn off auto, but I will keep the 2x speed on. Boom. Oh, come on. I can't say boom and then you not die. There you go. But yeah, usually the fixed um, state mode is usually saved for like story stuff. Or, I guess, certain crossovers as well for story of theirs. It's interesting. It's a good way to have, I guess, all the strongest people be like, well, you can't be any stronger than this here. And it's like, oh, but all my super powerful shadow units that I used to break the game, they're all gone now. Sadness. All right, I'm going to hit skip because you're just gonna get a summary and then if you actually want to experience the, fire, the story of Fire Emblem, you can see it yourself. After Fjorm puts on a stop to the clash between Alphonse and the Prince, the two of them agree to put misunderstandings behind them and become allies. Just then, the Imperial Army appears and launches an attack. All I need to know. I've already experienced the story. I remember basically everything. There it is. Perfect. Okay, the goal of the defense battle is to protect your gate from advancing enemy forces. To win either player has to okay, yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Hmm. Right, this will be my first time playing it since basically the first time this crossover happened. So let's see. Leaf I think I saw when I was watching D Free's video. Um, Leaf was trending on Twitter, <laughs> on for specific, specifically for game stuff. Jesus Christ, you! Whoa! Yes, let us venture together. I mean, why not just run up to everyone and just kill them? They seem to be super slow. Hello. Oh, I see why you can't can't do that, huh? Yeah. Thank you. Be careful out there. Well, no. Gotta protect this house. Alright. Running all the way back. You really do book it. It's really funny, actually. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, okay, goodbye. <laughs> okay, got him. Alright, Mario, the other horse. <laughs> This is the same noise I make, by the way, when um, me and my brother play a game and there's a... This, <laughs> this is also adorable. This is why everyone's dying. I'm sure this would actually seem super hectic. Um, to be fair, the, in the, when, you, when, when this first came out, it was actually kind of tough to defend everything. Because like even with everyone working together, it was super hard. Don't you run away from me, damn dog. Okay. So... I was gonna defend that house, but no one's attacking it. Okay. No need to defend the house. This house, though, it needs defending. Hello. Hello? There you are. Come back here, sir. Okay. No. No. Hello, sir. Where is he? Oh, he's all the way over here, huh? No, it didn't spawn anything. Okay. Jesus, man. You book through it like crazy. Interesting also that the AI does not leave your sight ever. A strong Die. Boat. Is everyone ready? Yes. Let's settle this. Hmm. I owe this victory to my friends. Your friends did help you a whole bunch there, Marf, even though you did book it everywhere. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Alright. Oh, was there a new lunatic? Ooh, Alphonse trial. I could do that. I can beat up Alphonse with uh, the team I got here. Man. I don't know. Yeah. 
I, well, the co-op version of this is coming in with the 29th with the next part of the whatever event, so... They called it something completely different, so it makes me think like it's going to be different from this in some way, but I don't... There's so much just that we don't know. Alright, Alphonse, I don't know who you think you are. Okay, Storm, I'm going to need you to not die, thank you very much. Good, good girl. No, get out of the way! This might be bad. I fell down by 30% and I'm not getting the bonus. What is baloney? Am I not at 30%? Is this what it feels like to be a oh, he froze her. He froze him. Eat tree! Now I'm healed. Now you're broken. I completely forgot to do my sword combos. It's okay. It's okay. Boom. He died. Yeah, I'm off face. I like how everyone was dying except for Alphonse in that fight. That seems mighty suspicious, dude. Hmm. Alright. Beat that, though. Okay, that's enough for this video, I think. It's gonna be a long grind, so really you should... My advice, pace it out, man. Don't, don't burn yourself out. Dragalia, I think, is a game best played at your own pace, because the game definitely respects your time more than any gacha that I have. And I say this as someone who spent 500 hours in Dragalia Lost, and close to 1,000 hours in Fate Grand Order. So it's kind of like, I can tell you right now, this game definitely does care more about your time than other gachas out there. So that's the end of today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you had a fun time. And I hope you guys have fun playing this event too. So, see you later. Bye bye. There's the stop. <laughs>